All right, everybody, I'm going to start, if we could. Patrick, are you okay? If you could, please. All right, good evening, everyone. The hour being after 6.30, I'd like to call the Tuesday, June 13th, 2023, School Building Committee meeting to order. And I just want to acknowledge that this is a hybrid meeting. Some of us are at home zooming in. Some of us are physically present in accordance with the updated Massachusetts open meeting laws. So our first order of business is approval of the previous meeting minutes. Do we have any questions or comments about the previous minutes? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve the minutes? Yes. I have a motion for Mr. Fisher. Do we have a second? Nancy, you want a second? I wasn't there. Does it matter? Do we have a second? Second. All right, I have a second. Who is that? Pardon me? Mr. Barrett? Ben. Thank you. Let me poll the committee. I'll start with you, Mr. Frischa. Yes. Mr. Barrett. Yes. Ms. Kenny. Abstain. I wasn't yes. present. Thank you. Ms. Gallivan. Yes. Uh, Dr. Goff. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Yeah. Mr. Conroy. Yes. Mr. Fisher. Yes. Mr. Connor. Yes. Did I miss anybody? It is a vote. Our next order of business is the project status update. Kate, over you to you, I believe. Yep, I'm actually going to pass it to Joel to talk through the construction on site. All right, good evening, everybody. Um, so uh, good to see everybody again after another month or so here. Uh, biggest update, of course, is that the steel structure is uh, is up um, and generally complete right now. So you, you can really see how the building occupies the site from this view here. So. Uh, obviously, the bird school is off to the left of the photo, and uh, we're looking at the, the three-story classroom wing, uh, A building, we call it, and uh, you can kind of follow right back along to the gym at the at the back of the building there, building D. So all that steel is up, and uh, they're doing the final touches uh, on it now, And uh, but the, the structure, the bulk of the structure is up and uh, ready for everybody else to get working on it. Uh, another good view of the structure here. You can see uh, that that gym pretty clearly. The second floor gym and D building there. Um, pretty good view from here. Uh, one other thing to note: you can see on the, these pictures uh, all the the perimeter safety uh, flagging, <coughs> pulling the rail systems that go up. So um, each floor of the building, once the steel gets done, they put up a perimeter safety cable. To make sure that everybody knows where the edge is and um, protects everybody until the walls are up and uh, same thing on the roof we put up a temporary rail system around the edge of the roof to keep the guys safe while they're working up there too so that's all up and, and been done now all right uh, heading into the interior of the building i think uh probably one of the first views we've we've had uh inside the building but the picture on the left there is the third floor of a building that that three story classroom wing. Um, so the big update here, you can see that the floor slab has been poured. Uh, so we have a floor to walk on now in there and uh, you can see the temporary lighting has been has been hung by the electrician. Uh, the steel stud material for the, the framing is showing up and uh, one other highlight on this one, you can see kind of there's a, a, a plumbing pipe there, the black pipe there. That's uh, the rain, one of the rain leaders. So once the, the roof goes on, you gotta be ready to direct all that water uh, where it needs to go. So one of the first things we always do is get those roof leaders in. Uh, so the, the plumber has been working on those and we get those ready to go. Uh, the picture on the right is the first floor. So the ground floor of that uh, of building B. Um, and you can see that that building B slab on grade is poured. It is building B, right Kate? Uh, the building A slab on grades board and B that's, is that's, that picture scheduled is building for next A, week. right? Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, that's building A. So uh, you can see the you get the plastic on there to cure the slab. Uh, you know, wet wet cure slab here. So that's uh, that's good there. A uh, couple other shots here. The picture on the left, um, you can kind of see before some of the slab pours. You can get a good look at the rebar. 
the reinforcing that goes into the, the concrete slabs. So that's all gets placed in there and strengthens up the concrete uh, when the concrete actually gets poured for the floor slab. And then uh, you can also see there's uh, uh, some galvanized metal angles that have been installed on the, on the picture on the left there. Those are relieving angles. And basically that's there to, to pick up the brick in the future. So when we go to install the brick, each of those pieces of steel, those angles are gonna fit just perfectly between courses of brick and uh, they'll carry some of the weight of that exterior brick. Uh, so that's a very precision activity that's been going on uh, recently. They've been getting all those set in the right place. Um, and then uh, kind of a nice view of the, the, what'll be the main entrance there on the right. Uh, and then the topping off beam. So we have the topping off ceremony on the 17th. Um, that, that last beam that was signed by all the students at Bird and Johnson uh, hung and bolted into place. And uh, I, the, Kate got that picture, I think, of uh, the thank yous from the students, um, which is pretty cool to see. I, I uh, that, can't state how much uh, guys appreciate seeing stuff like that. And it's not, it's pretty uncommon that uh, somebody does that. So that was uh, very cool to see. Um, all right, big picture schedule wise, uh, the fireproofing is going on now. Uh, so the, the exterior of the building, all that steel gets a fireproof coating on it. So that's been ongoing. Uh, the roofer is on site. We've got uh, all the roofing material coming in and uh, he's getting going on a building. Um, we're also getting going on the interior stairs. So there's a, a separate uh, steel contractor that'll do the stairs. So th those are going on right now in a building, those first two staircases. And um, we're continuing on on the slab pours, continuing to get, get floor slabs poured as we go through the building. Um, and then one other thing, so just big picture with the summer, uh, so kids are out tomorrow, uh, obviously, and uh, we'll kind of take the site back over and we'll, we'll get going on uh, some of the parking lots and doing some of the work outside was the current fence line. So if you remember last summer, we kind of adjusted the, the site to, to encompass that whole area around the bird school. So we'll do that again after after school wraps up and we'll start going after the remaining site work getting parking ready uh, and hopefully uh, doing some paving this summer uh, and getting getting some of the paving done uh, for the parking lots and around the building. So that'll all get kicking off uh, here as the, as the kids get out of school. We can take advantage of that space a little more. Uh, and one other note, I, I somebody had asked about um, the switch gear. I just wanted to give a quick update on the, the that was that piece of electrical equipment that we bought direct early. Um, and uh, we still, we're at a, a, a February 9th uh, ship date, and that's uh, direct from the manufacturer. I actually had a call with the, uh, with the provider uh, or, or the supplier and the manufacturer on Friday. Um, and you know, it's one thing to check the database and get the email confirmations, but I just wanted to pass along that we, we've been following up on the phone too and uh, uh, doing everything we can to make sure that stuff lands when we need it. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, looking very good schedule wise. We picked up a lot of ground on the steel. The steel got finished uh, earlier than we anticipated. And uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, good progress with the other trades now. And, uh, we also, yeah, we also have a few pictures here just of the, uh, the, the coordination model to give you an update on where we are drawing all the, the piping and duct work and light fixtures and all that and kind of all that getting laid out in 3D here. So this is building B, building B is done, submitted, good to go. Couple shots here, the lobby, so that, that you can see the main lobby with the monumental stair there on the left and the, the circular light fixtures. And then uh, a, a quick shot at the auditorium. So the auditorium is the piece we just wrapped up that goes in for review on Friday this week. So uh, all that moving right along as well. Any questions on the construction update? Great, hearing none, we'll move on. So to touch base on meetings held since the last building committee meeting, um, 
as Joel mentioned, our coordination meetings are ongoing um, on a weekly basis to work through um, the MEP trades and the coordination model. Our weekly owner architect contract meetings, the OAC meetings are ongoing. We continue to have internal meetings every Friday to touch base on hot items um, between Vertex, Fontaine and Tape. D-scope meetings are ongoing since the last building committee meeting. We've met on resinous flooring, uh, specialties and projection screens. Uh, we had the light gauge metal framing kickoff meeting on May 17th. We worked through the Keene hierarchy for the new building with the district on the 24th of May. Um, that was just the first pass on laying out the Keene system for the new building. Um, and then that'll get submitted through Procore and reviewed um, by the town at the first pass. The technology kickoff meeting took place with TAPE, the consultants, the district, and then Montaigne and ourselves on May 30th. We have a follow-up um, technology meeting before everybody leaves for the summer on the 23rd of June. The building envelope commissioning kickoff meeting took place on June 6th, and the roofing kickoff meeting took place on June 9th. So we're really moving through um, all of our kickoff meetings pretty quickly. In, in terms of upcoming meetings, we have our lead kickoff meeting scheduled for tomorrow, June 14th, to review the design submission. Uh, Matt, do you just want to touch base on where we are with lead real quick? Yeah, so for lead, we're kind of in the process of trying to wrap up all the documentation that we need for the design submission, making sure we got all the correct boxes checked for the online for the lead submission, and then getting any documentation that we need, either from you know, ourselves and the architect, uh, documentation from the owner or other documentation that we need from our consultants, just verifying what's in the documents and, and that we have everything that we need for the, the DD submission to get the silver accreditation for lead to get the 2% reimbursement. And then after that, we're kind of the meeting tomorrow for the kickoff kind of transitions into the construction part of the lead uh, submissions. And I can turn that over to Joel to kind of touch base on that. Yeah, so uh, we play a big role in the, uh, the administration of the lead uh, documentation through the construction process. Um, a lot of it is collection of documentation to show we're using the right material, um, that it has uh, low emitting qualities and, and things like that, that, uh, that TAPE's specifications will call for. Um, so we're well on our way into documenting and, and pulling all that stuff together. And uh, the other thing that we're, we're into right now is the uh, all the any of the waste that comes off the site anything that leaves in a dumpster uh, has to be recycled at 75 percent by minimum so each of the dumpsters uh, that goes off we're getting a recycling slip from the dumpster uh, supplier and uh, keeping track of all that documentation so um, we are well underway with our portion of the the, the lead process Um, we have our MEP FP commissioning kickoff meeting scheduled for tomorrow as well with the commissioning agent. Um, both commissioning agents were um, assigned to us by the MSBA. Their, their contracts are directly with the MSBA and they kind of oversee the project review um, submittals and then um, confirm that, that what is designed is actually what is installed um, in the building through these commissioning meetings um, that will go for the duration of the project and, and beyond. Mm -hmm. And we have our interiors, colors, material uh, review meeting. This is a working group meeting scheduled for June 29th as we touched base on at the last building committee meeting. Um, construction administration. So TAPE is on site weekly. Um, the geotechnical consultant, um, Weston Sampson has been on site weekly pretty much and their site visits are ongoing. EDD, DG, our structural engineer, their site visits are ongoing. PSI, our third party um, testing agency has been on site multiple times a week, um, reviewing you know, welding, decking inspections, concrete, doing compaction. Um, so all this is ongoing. Document control submittal review um, is ongoing as well. And it's projected that we're about 65% complete with our submittal review at this point. Um, the requests for information, RFI, continue to be submitted and returned in a timely manner. Um, ASI's architect supplemental instructions um, continue since our last building committee meeting. There have been six released. We have a total of 30 to date. 
Uh, we haven't had any uh, instruction change directive since our last building committee meeting, and we've actually had none to date. And we have one new proposed change order um, that we'll review in a minute um, since our last building committee meeting. Uh, so this is the same slide that you've seen at multiple meetings. It just uh, is a summary of the VE priority items um, in order. So uh, everything is grayed out that has been accepted previously. Just a reminder, all these items are also tracked on our proposed change order log, but this is just a summary um, that is a priority list. Um, so the highlighted items, um, so 3B is add clips at ACT ceiling in student toilet rooms. Um, this is PCO number 15 for $3,400 and 3D full height tile all walls up to eight feet in student toilet rooms, which was PCO 7R1 for $129,111. These two, we would like to get a vote on tonight. Um, I believe it's the district standard to have full height tile in the student bathrooms um, for sanitary and maintenance reasons. Um, and this was something that was carried earlier on in the project and then was taken out and uh, would like to get put back in. So these are the two that we will be asking for approval tonight. And I will, um, there's a third and I will go at, get into it. At a third PCO, which I mentioned above, um, that's noted in the PCO log. Do we have any questions or comments? So hearing none, I would accept the motion uh, on restoring the tile height and adding the clips. I have a motion from Jack. Do you have a second? Second. Second from Nancy. Let me poll the committee. Mr. Frischa. Yes. Mr. Barrett. Yes. Ms. Kenny. Yes. Ms. Gallivan. Yes. Dr. Goff. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Conroy. Yes. Mr. Fisher. Yes. Mr. Connor. Yes. Uh, and I vote yes. Did I miss anybody? It is a vote. Chad, I vote yes. Jen. Oh, I'm sorry, Jen. Ms. Gios, it's votes yes as well. Thank you. All right, Kate, next. So it's, this is a summary of where we are. As everybody knows, we went into construction holding 2% in the owner's contingency. Um, typically, we go into construction holding 1%. So if we hold the 1% and drop the, you know, the 0.86%, which would um, cover these VE items. So this is just a summary of where we are. Um, I do want to add there is a third PCO we are looking for approval on tonight, which was the new PCO. So this is the full PCO log. Um, if you're in person, you have the printout of it. So just a reminder that what is in green is ready to review and vote on tonight. So we just got the approval for the two top items. Um, and if you flip to the second page, um, so anything above this black line was reviewed um, at the last meeting or prior meetings and below are the new items. So we do have a credit for $48,774.86 um, for abandoning in place the AC um, sewer and drainage line. This was proposed by Wigley, um, has been, been reviewed by the departments in the town um, and they are fine with these lines being abandoned. Um, we own them being removed in the contract, but there really is no reason to remove them. They're not in conflict with any of the new structures. And we saw this as an opportunity to take advantage of a credit. So I would, we also need to vote on this um, PCO number 25. So change order number um, five would total $83,736.14. Do we have a motion? All right, we have a motion. Uh... Mr. Fisher, do we have a second? Second. Second from uh, Nancy. Will you pull the committee? Mr. Frischoff? Yes. Mr. Barrett? <laughs> Ms. Kenny? Yes. Ms. Gallivan? Yes. Ms. Gayositz? Yes. Dr. Goff? Yes. Mr. Anderson? Yes. Mr. Conroy? Yeah, before I vote, yeah. everybody knows it's asbestos cement we're leaving. So they know what AC is. Okay. So what's your vote, Jack? Yes. Uh, Mr. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Connor? Yes. And I vote yes, it is a vote. Continuing, Kate? 
Uh, so just reviewing the May invoice package. Um, so it totals five million two hundred five million eighty two thousand one sixty nine, um, and it encompasses uh, Vertex, Tape's invoices. Um, we have an invoice from Anderson Electric. This was for the electric in the Bird School to accommodate um, the air the AC units being put in the windows for next year. Uh, Fontaine's invoice for four million eight hundred and eighty-five thousand, and then our budget summary. Does anybody have any questions? Hearing none, I would take a motion to approve the vendor invoice package. So moved. I have a motion from, who was that? Jen Gayosub. From Jen, do we have a second? Second. Second from Ms. Gallivan. Let me pull the committee. Mr. Frischa. Yes. Mr. Barrett. Yes. Ms. Kenny. Yes. Ms. Gallivan. Yes. Ms. Gayosits. Yes. Dr. Goff. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Yeah. Mr. Conroy. Yes. Mr. Fisher. Yes. Mr. Connor. Mr. Connor. Yes. Okay, very good. And I vote yes. All right, Kate, next. Uh, just a summary of where we are with the MSBA reimbursements. Um, reimbursement request 28 went in uh, and is being reviewed currently. Uh, MSBA communications, we submitted our quarterly change order review log um, on June, by June 1st, um, which will be reviewed. And then we do not have any MSBA site visits scheduled to date. And this just lists the meetings for the remainder of the year, with the next meeting scheduled for July 11th at 6.30 p.m. Kate, okay, okay, could I chime in? Is there anybody that's not going to be, be there on July 11th? We just need to make sure we have a quorum. Jeff won't be. I'll be remote. All right, Jeff won't be here. Anybody else? All right, very good. Anything else, Kate? Nope, that's all I have. All right, do we have a motion to adjourn? I'll move. A motion for Mr. Fisher, do we have a second? Second, second for Ms. Gallivan, let me pull the committee. Mr. Fisher? Yes. Mr. Barrett? Yes. Ms. Kenny? Yes. Ms. Gallivan? Yes. Ms. Giosits? Yes. Dr. Goff. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Conroy. Yes. Mr. Fisher. Yes. Mr. Connor. Yes. And I vote yes. It is a vote. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.